Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about having a Virgo sun and Capricorn moon in a natal chart, and I'm going to elaborate and expound on that. What I'm talking about is uh, people that have that sun moon combination in their natal chart, a Virgo sun and a Capricorn moon. Now, the basic character, uh, which is the sun, in this case, the sun being a Virgo. Uh, can be a very organized, analytical, detail-oriented, industrious, reliable, and scrupulous. Now, the unconscious side, which is the moon, the sun is the conscious, the moon the unconscious. The unconscious side of the moon being Capricorn can be very uh, consistent, professional, disciplined, responsible, um, and uh, serious, but yet it can be depressive and melancholy as well. And this is a person that is like somebody that's very reliable and structured and disciplined and you can count on this person to get things done when he or she says they're going uh, to do it now the the ascendant you know is a more you know, flighty or fickle sign or say is a gemini or sagittarius this could modify you know, this you know, delineation to some degree because outwardly the person may not be projecting uh, those qualities as readily um, Although Gemini and Sagittarius are not exactly uh, notorious for being you know, reliable and consistent. Now, the thing is, now the Virgo Sun, the Sun in astrology is about our basic wants. And the Virgo Sun wants to be of service and stay busy. And uh, the Capricorn Moon, the Moon is about our emotional needs. And the Capricorn Moon needs structure, uh, their career discipline, uh, authority. And uh, the thing about it is, and, and to be that authority, I should say, uh, it's like, you know, the true self, you know, in this case, the sun, and the um, sun being in Virgo, it can be punctual, systematic, methodical, uh, detail-oriented, uh, well, let's say again, or detail-oriented, health-conscious, and, you know, the inner self, which is the moon, the moon is that inner personality we have, and the inner self with the moon being in Capricorn um, can be very structured, premeditated, um, ambitious, as some examples. Uh, the sun in astrology you know, is about our drive and motivation. And the person you know, with the uh, Virgo sun can be driven and motivated uh, to work and be helpful, um, be of service to others. Now, have being helpful. You know, not in you know, officious or in wanted manner, of course. Now, with the moon in Capricorn, this may be done, you know, feeling more serious, and it may be done with more concentration, um, and also um, in diligence as well. This is um, this person, you know, maybe uh, may bring that Virgo Sun industry into something Capricorn uh, related which can include uh, business in general, um, politics, government work, uh, doing something with information technology, accounting, uh, dentistry as some examples. And this would be more, I'd say more harmonious if this is making the uh, trine aspect. Now a trine aspect in astrology is 120 degrees. Uh, I use a 10 degree orb if at least one personal planet is involved. In this case, of course, you have two personal planets that are involved with the sun and the moon. Now let's say, for example, if the Virgo sun is at 17 degrees and you have the Capricorn moon at 13 degrees, that would form a trine aspect. And this could be a positive blend of that Virgo sun industry and the, the Capricorn moon need to attain ambitions and, um, and be successful. This is a person that could work very hard and be very, it work laboriously to attain success, to be gaining you know, some greater social status, that need for social status and have greater uh, stature in life and career ambitions. And you know, the, um, the sun you know, is about our actions and the moon represents our reactions and responses. Now, um, you know, the sun, you know, the sun being a Virgo, the actions can be again, very helpful, service-oriented, um, and you're maybe a little nervous, a little nervous, this in her actions. Now, having a moon in Capricorn, 
you know, the reactions and responses can be you know, very you know, disciplined. Um, the person may you know, wait a little bit to react rather than you know, maybe say something or do something you know, that could be regrettable. And um, you know, the thing is, on an emotional level, with the Capricorn moon, the moon, you know, person, you know, emotions that are expressed often can be very you know, sad. You know, a person may feel you know, melancholy, despondent, um, and sometimes even feel negative. You know, this is um, also another thing about this. You know, the sun in astrology uh, represents you know, our basic character. And it's also what well, represents our fundamental character, but it also represents the uh, the biological father. And somebody with a Virgo son, you know, may actually, you know, the bio, may have a biological father. That's a Virgo sun moon or ascendant, or embody those characteristics. Now, the person that has you know, having the Capricorn moon, you know, the father may actually be a Capricorn sun moon or ascendant or embody those traits. And it's also about the perception of these people. The person with the Virgo son, you know, you may perceive the biological father as somebody that's very you know, punctual, meticulous with details, reliable, industrious, but may also see the person you know, as overly pedantic, critical, judgmental, uh, fault finding, um, you know, being um, just uh, somebody that might be overly worrisome. Now, the person that has the Capricorn moon, they may perceive, he or she may perceive the mother, you know, as somebody, you know, that's very um, you know, diligent, consistent, um, you know, ambitious, uh, premeditative, but may also see the mother as somebody that might be overly cold, callous, undemonstrative, uh, rigid, um, a person you know, that might be you know, someone that's maybe dominated you know, by career related matters and you know, it can be uh, as well I mean you have you know the Virgo Sun and Capricorn and naturally you know, having the Sun and the moon both on being an earth signs a person you know, naturally you know, has kind of emphasized pragmatism practicality econ and economical ability you know, Virgo, the sun in Virgo you know, can be, you know, Virgo, I think, is arguably the most you know, frugal of the zodiac signs. In Capricorn, moving is not, you know, being an earth sign, they're not exactly, you know, extravagant. They can be very cautious regarding, you know, their spending. You know, they may put you know, certain money into, like, a business-related uh, matter, but, you know, being an earth sign, they're not ones to really... Um, because they're so fundamentally cautious, the zodiac sign, and as far as money goes, they're not ones that are going to spend, you know, an over, you know, overabundance amount on, on things in general. And because Capricorn, remember, it's a sign of restriction as well. And you know, this is just um, also too. I wanted to say that going back to the trine aspect, if there is a trine aspect between you know, the Virgo Sun and Capricorn Moon that would increase the chances and propensity of the biological father and mother um, you know, being together during the time you know, the per, you know, the, you know just in general just you know, being, being together and not having you know, separation or uh, divorce but of course you, know, you got to look at other things such as uh, the sinistry that exists between those people between your biological father and mother and that could you know, show certain of course that could be a very strong indicator of compatibility and whether they stay you know they have a greater probability of staying together or not in the relationship but anyway people that'll conclude this youtube astrological segment until next time and we'll learn science stay well